Voyager 2, drifting in deep space, just intercepted something no one expected. A hidden transmission linked to interstellar object 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. It's not noise, it's a message, structured, intentional, and it warns of instability ahead. Overnight, this quiet probe turned into the loudest alarm the world has ever heard. Voyager 2 in the void, the silent sentinel. Out beyond the grip of the sun, past the heliopause where solar winds fade into cosmic silence, Voyager 2 drifts on. A thin thread of telemetry, weakened by distance and time, still binds it to Earth. It transmits data on plasma waves, magnetic fields, and cosmic radiation, the only voice we have from true interstellar space. Each whisper it sends is captured by enormous dishes of the deep space network, struggling to catch the faint pulse of a spacecraft launched nearly 50 years ago. We still hear it, one engineer whispered, as if not to disturb the silence of space itself. But as systems shut down to preserve power, and instruments fall silent one by one, Earth receives only brief pulses, confirmation that Voyager is still alive. These heartbeats are routine, but then something changes. A burst, a glitch, or so it seems. An irregular pulse enters the data stream, one that doesn't match any known instrument or telemetry format. And for the first time in decades, Voyager's silence doesn't feel peaceful. It feels disturbed. The hidden signal, anomaly in the data stream. In a dim-lit control room, eyes widen. The anomaly is no longer random. Engineer spot modulations buried deep in the signal, Pulses that repeat, skip, then return in unexpected patterns. Initially dismissed as interference, the irregularities resist explanation. Voyager's instruments don't send this kind of signal. A fresh round of analysis filters cosmic noise from the data. When correlated with deep space background scans, a shocking coincidence emerges. The anomaly's timing and direction align precisely with the approach of Thief 3 i slash a t l a s the recently detected interstellar objects sweeping through the outer solar system. We thought it was noise, one analyst says, but the pattern was too intentional. What Voyager has picked up isn't just static. It might be a message, and it's not coming from Earth. What began as a technical curiosity quickly escalates into a high-priority investigation. If the timing matches 3i slash A-T-L-A-S and the modulation doesn't match Voyager's hardware, then the probe may have acted not as sender, but as receiver. Decoding, what did Voyager hear? Back at mission control, the focus sharpens. Voyager's garbled burst isn't random static anymore. It's structure. Analysts begin what will become one of the most difficult decoding operations in the history of spaceflight. The first step is signal reconstruction, isolating the carrier wave from surrounding cosmic noise. Every frequency spike, Every echo must be dissected. What's left behind, after subtracting known Voyager instrument outputs, is a strange narrowband emission. It's impossibly clean, sharply defined, not like natural emissions from stars or plasma fields. This is engineered. They rerun the data through error correction protocols, forward error correction, Hamming codes, even speculative deep space communication templates. Patterns begin to emerge, there's rhythm, Binary pulses framed in precise repetitions with internal parity. The formatting is too consistent to be geological or atmospheric. Someone or something wanted this to be read. Spectral analysis reveals a more troubling truth. The frequency doesn't align with traditional radio or microwave bands. It dips into exotic territory, a slice of the spectrum used nowhere in terrestrial broadcasting or military communication. It's as though the message was crafted outside any human design logic. Teams from independent observatories in Australia and Spain confirm identical signatures in delayed transmissions from Voyager. The signal is real, reproducible, and arriving from a specific patch of sky. All vectors point back to one origin, the interstellar object known as 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. Its trajectory bar had seemed passive, an icy visitor drifting through our solar system like Oumuamua before it. But this new data forces a re-evaluation. The signal's timing, direction, and persistence all map to the object's path. 
Even more disturbing, the pulse timing syncs with Atlas's recent rotation curve changes, minor but measurable fluctuations in its spin and light reflection profile. We're not the only ones observing, says one researcher quietly. The room falls silent. The breakthrough comes when someone overlays the binary with a Cartesian plot. The code appears to contain spatial coordinates, mapped in relative vectors, paired with timestamps. It's a log, a navigational data dump. And one line keeps repeating, embedded in modulation frames. Something resembling a warning marker, a repeated segment, pulsing faster than the rest. Voyager had become a silent ear in the dark. And now, it had heard something it was never built to understand. But it's not enough to hear the message. They had to know what it meant. And so, decoding gave way to interpretation. The message revealed, a warning or a beacon. This wasn't just data, it was intent. Inside the binary were what looked like flight commands, velocity shifts, course corrections, and stress indicators, the kind you'd find in an active guidance system. One researcher said it plainly, this isn't a broadcast, it's a mission log. Suddenly, 3i slash ATLAS was no longer just a rock. It behaved more like a guided vehicle, maybe autonomous, maybe not. One section of code plotted a series of course deviations, rapid, precise. Simulations showed it anticipating a fragmentation event or structural shift. Something was about to change, and then came the pattern, a repeating string buried deep in the signal, rendered as audio. Mapped into phonetic filters, it formed five chilling words. Proceed with caution, unstable field. Even stranger was the signal's structure. The modulation broke every Earth-based rule. Phase symmetry, chirp coding, spectral folds, all beyond current AI frameworks. It wasn't designed for us, but it reached us anyway. Some believe Voyager acted as a relay, catching a beam meant to intersect its path. Others suspect direct targeting, a message sent precisely when A-T-L-A-S approached. Time codes embedded in the signal were older than Voyager's internal clock, possibly sent before Atlas even arrived. A prelude, a long traveling warning, then confirmation. Five global observatories detect similar, fainter signals, all sourced from A-T-L-A-S's path. The origin is real. Now, governments stop asking if the message is genuine. They ask why it was sent and one answer rises above the rest. Something else knows this object is here, and it's warning us to tread carefully. Shockwaves on Earth, reactions, and panic. The story breaks at midnight in California. By morning, it's everywhere. Voyager 2 intercepts alien signal linked to 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. The headline floods every screen. NASA calls it anomalous telemetry, ESA says, analysis is ongoing, but the words can't hold back the wave. In homes, war rooms, and boardrooms, the question is the same. Is this real? And quickly, are we in danger? Social media explodes. Hoax theories clash with doomsday countdowns. A leaked photo shows the phrase, proceed with caution, unstable field. Suddenly, the abstract becomes personal. Markets falter. Militaries go silent. Tracking stations lock on to ATLAS. Australia initiates full-time radar coverage. The US revises its risk protocols. SpaceX delays launches. On board the ISS, shielding procedures are reviewed. The panic isn't just about the signal, it's the speed. Atlas's path is shifting. Models once considered theoretical now lean toward entry margins. What shatters public calm is the message itself. Not a greeting, but a warning. One word stands out, unstable. And when a satellite image captures a flicker near ITLAS's surface, fear takes hold. Fragment, reflection, it doesn't matter. Voyager heard something, and now the whole world is listening. Reevaluating 3i slash A, TLAS new threat scenarios. Until now, 3i slash A, TLAS was just a spec a cold visitor drifting through the void. But the signal changes everything. It's no longer a rock. It's a variable, a body with motion, behavior, maybe even intent. Astronomers replot its path and find something off. Small velocity shifts that don't match gravity or solar wind. It's not drifting, it's correcting. Orbital models fall apart. Course deviations appear. 
Simulations show fragmentation patterns, but they're not random, more like layers being shed, like a machine adapting. The signal's embedded coordinates and warnings suddenly make sense. It's not forecasting natural decay, it's mapping design changes. That's when people stop calling it a comet. Infrared scans reveal thermal asymmetry, one in warmer, rotating strangely. Quietly, the question spreads. What if it's doing this on purpose? Not a flaw, but a function. Theories surface, mass shedding for navigation, internal systems exposed. Once dismissed ideas about von Neumann probes, alien messengers or dormant watchers now feel uncomfortably relevant. If it's adjusting, and if that message was a status update, not a distress call, then Earth is part of its calculations. That's not observation, that's involvement. Governments act. Space tracking becomes non-stop. Telescopes, defense systems, and private arrays sink into one global net. Old academic contingency plans become real-time protocols. This is no longer about curiosity. It's about readiness. And through it all, Voyager 2 stays quiet. Its message delivered, its role complete. Now the object moves, and for the first time, Earth wonders not what it is, but what it's about to do. Voyager 2's legacy and power limits. Voyager 2 has traveled more than 20 billion kilometers. It wasn't meant to survive this long, nor to witness anything like this. And yet, in its final years, with its instruments failing one by one, and its nuclear power source draining, it may have become the first human-made object to intercept a message not from Earth. Its power output is now below 50% of original capacity. Every system left running drains what little remains. Engineers face an impossible choice. They can reorient the probe, attempt to relock on the transmission, or run deep diagnostics. But each command costs energy, and each one increases the risk of losing the spacecraft forever. We don't have many moves left, one technician admits, but this might be our last chance to learn something real. The team debates. There are no backups. Voyager 1 is too far, too off-angle. No other craft sits in the path of ATLAS. Pushing Voyager further might kill it, but holding back could silence the only witness to the most significant discovery in modern history. Meanwhile, every time the deep space network checks in, the probe's heartbeat signal grows fainter. There's no guarantee it can transmit again at all. Each contact window is a fragile lifeline, a chance to hear one last whisper from the edge of everything. But even in silence, Voyager's role has changed. It's no longer just a scientific relic. It is now a messenger, a relay point between the unknown and the human. Its detection of the signal, even if unintentional, means its presence in that slice of sky was not irrelevant. It was noticed. Whether by accident or design, Voyager 2 was chosen, and its detection of the transmission may be its final act of service. As engineers prepare what could be the last command sequence Voyager ever receives, the room is quiet. We launched it to learn, one of them says. Now we have to decide how much more it's allowed to give. Because after all these years, the machine is still alive and Earth is still listening. Scientific debate and contrarian voices. Not everyone agrees with the alien narrative. As news spreads, the scientific community begins to fracture. For every astrophysicist confirming data integrity, another argues it's an artifact, a side effect of cosmic rays, or even internal clock drift. Without a second, independent probe in the vicinity, certainty remains elusive. Some say the message is real, but not alien. Instead, they point to the possibility of a terrestrial source, a secret satellite, a long-range military test, or an echo from some obscure deep space experiment. We're not alone in space, a defense analyst warns, but that doesn't mean it's aliens. Others offer more radical doubts, that the signal was introduced intentionally, part of a psychological or political operation. Some accuse governments of staging the entire event to justify space defense expansion. A few even claim it's a marketing stunt, a prelude to a viral campaign or a film reveal. The more official channels remain silent, the more theories multiply. And yet, for all the noise, the signal remains. Clean, structured, verified. Several independent teams across the globe, from Tokyo to Chile to Cape Town, 
report the same waveform patterns, the same anomaly structure. They have no reason to fabricate and no access to Voyager's original stream. And their instruments aren't even in contact with the probe. They're picking it up directly from space. This, say proponents, proves the source is not earthbound. The decoding algorithms, once open source, are now under restricted access. Some researchers are locked out. Peer review stalls as institutions fight over ownership of the discovery. Behind closed doors, the analysis continues, but the public is left watching shadows. And through it all, the object, 3i slash A-T-L-A-S, continues its approach. The truth, whatever it is, is out there. But for now, consensus remains just out of reach. All that remains is data and a growing sense that something is coming. Defensive moves and global coordination. With confirmation echoing across observatories, Earth shifts into coordination mode. National agencies drop rivalries. NASA, ESA, CNSA, JAXA, and private space companies initiate real-time data sharing. The language becomes military, trajectory lock, impact corridor, fragmentation zone. Dozens of telescopes refocus on 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. Ground radar arrays sweep for microsignatures. Infrared satellites watch for energy spikes. Deep space receivers scan for secondary signals. The object has now entered a region close enough for direct tracking by planetary defense networks. The signal, once abstract, is now part of defense briefings. We're treating this as a live object, says one director, not a passive one. Emergency protocols activate. LEO and GEO satellites begin shielding simulations. ISS astronauts run drills for high-velocity debris. Backup comms are tested, hardened, shielded. On Earth, national security councils meet behind closed doors. A small group of world leaders are briefed on fallback evacuation timelines. Not for global impact, but for regional scenarios. What's changing is urgency. The message's trajectory corrections suggest a potential course adjustment not visible in early scans. It's no longer enough to watch ATLAS. Earth must respond. This isn't about stopping the object. That's beyond current tech. But it is about preparing, about understanding, about not facing the unknown in silence. And through all the noise, one thing remains unshaken. Voyager 2 heard it first. The final stakes. A cosmic turning point. Now we face a line history rarely draws. A moment when one world realizes it is seen by another. Voyager 2, in its final breath, has altered the course of human perspective. The message was not proof of life. It was a decision point. Something out there sent a warning. Whether as threat, beacon, or relic, it was meant to be received. 3i slash A, TLAS now drifts within astronomical striking range. It may pass peacefully, it may fracture, it may change course, but the question it forces will remain. Do we wait for the universe to act upon us, or do we prepare to act within it? This moment will outlive the signal. It will shape funding, research, diplomacy, education, and the way we look at the sky. Not with wonder alone, but with awareness. In the silence that follows, there is no panic only readiness, because from now on, Earth listens differently. And the universe knows, we heard it. Whether it was a warning, a beacon, or something far stranger, Voyager 2 delivered the message. Now Earth knows 3i slash A-T-L-A-S isn't just passing through, it's part of something larger. The silence of space has been broken, and from this moment on, we will never look at the sky the same. <laughs>